Cursi is located in the heart of the central eastern Salento and its territory is part of the Union of the Otranto Interior Municipalities, an institution created in 2001. Once it was part of the Greek-speaking area of the Grecia Salentina and its Italian Greek inheritance still lives on in the history of its magnificent tangible and intangible cultural heritage. According to an ancient tradition, the name Corsi comes from the presence of a Roman station for couriers, who provided the military news to the different districts and delivered the famous Diari Cursores over long distances. The town center of Corsi is surrounded by green countryside and ancient olive trees, the cornerstone of the agricultural economy of local oil production. The ancient regions of the territory are made obvious by the presence of important megalithic monuments and of architecture of the Byzantine era, historical testimony of the Italian Greek culture. The landscape assumes singular nuances in the area characterized by stone quarries, the so-called tagliate. The green and endless expanses of olive trees combine with the landscape typical of the Stone Age by creating a beautiful scenery for pleasant and evocative nature walks. Even nowadays, the local economy is characterized by the extraction of the Pietra di Cursi, one of the most prized Leccese limestone employed in decorative applications and in the building industry. The limestone, visible both in the countryside and the historic centre, is the dominant feature of the entire landscape, thanks to its vividness and the presence of very ancient fossils. Walking through the streets of the historical centre of Cursi, visitors are immersed in the atmosphere of an authentic Salento, in the shadow of the hot local stone. Pio XII Square is the heart of the ancient settlement of Cursi. Here, the town's principal church stands majestically over the cityscape, defining it with its solemn geometric shapes and its little dome. On the top of the building you can find the stone half bus statue of San Nicola, patron saint of the town and protector of the parish church. The delightful architecture is enlivened by the iconography of a dolphin, a decorative motif engraved on the spiral perimeter elements. The church has been rebuilt several times beginning in the 15th century until the first half of the 19th century, when the new main façade was renovated and completed. The 16th century bell tower reaches a height of 27 meters, and it is characterized by charming sculpted columns and garlands, architectural shapes which offer balance and elegance to the wall structure. In the historical center, the defining element is the Leccese limestone, which takes on vivid warm shades on sunny days. You can lose yourself in the picturesque labyrinth of houses and palaces, characterized by architecture from different periods. These little streets branch off from the principal square to the former convent of the Augustinian Fathers. The Greek hospitality lives on in Corsi culture and is evident in the spacious courtyards, still occupied and jealously guarded by the families of the village.
The Donno Palace is the ideal spot for welcoming tourists as well as hosting cultural activities of the Corsi community. The building is municipal property and inside houses the Tourist Information Center, a cultural resource established to welcome visitors. The rooms are spacious and the rough hewn stone accentuates the solemn architecture of the palace. This structure also offers an equipped multimedia hall useful for the organization of conferences, cultural workshops and community meetings. The upper floor of the palace houses the municipal library, named after the eclectic Salentinian poet Antonio Verri. In fact, the Institute preserves the important Pensionante de Saraceni fund, donated by Verri himself in the early 1990s. In the subterranean level of the palace, we can find the ancient olive oil mill, converted into an eco-museum of Lecese limestone in 2000. The eco-museum was created with the aim of collecting information and documents about the history of the Lecese limestone, particularly as it relates to the cultural and social environment of the territory. The museum's halls, realized as a result of the architectural redevelopment of a former underground oil mill, house the permanent exhibition entitled Stone Stories. It is a type of cultural and artistic journey in the culture of the Lecese and Apulian limestone, where you can find references to the history of the landscape, design and architecture. The Dono Palace, with its Eco Museum of the Lecese limestone, represents a singular entity in the Salentinian cultural and museum panorama, an innovative space where the community identity of Corsi and its close link with the territory live on. The Maramonte Palace is the architectural expression of the feudal power which has governed the territory of Corsi for centuries. The oldest part of the structure was built by Maramonte barons around the middle of the 15th century. Throughout the centuries its architectural forms and spaces have been amended several times according to the artistic tastes of the feudal families who have owned the palace. The last renovation dates back to the 19th century, in particular with the realization of a gracious portico, punctuated with a sober colonnade with Doric columns. Noteworthy for its elegant 16th century workmanship is the corner column, placed on the left of the main facade of the palace. Since 1959, the palace has been the seat of the town hall and it houses offices and the municipal police barracks. The artistic creativity is clearly visible in the entrance hall of the palace. The walls and the perimeter spaces are decorated with rich patterns, realized with stylistic taste and heritage of the important feudal history of Corsi. the entrance of the town you can find the convent of the Augustinian Fathers with the annexed church of St. Anthony the Abbot. This last one is enriched with elegant decoration and patterns, which are the result of the expert hands of the Salentinian stone cutters. 
the convent complex is an important witness to the long-standing Augustinian presence in the territory, terminated in 189 with the abolition of the monks and the confiscation of their assets. The interior of the church has many altars, realized according to the canons of the Lecchese Baroque style. The high altar, sculpted in 1663 by the famous artist Placido Buffelli from Alessano, is of Greek artistic value. The church of St. Anthony the Abbot represents a monument of considerable historical and artistic importance. The Sanctuary of the Madonna of Abundance is another architectural jewel of the Corsi community, linked to the religious life of the town and the devotion to the Virgin Mary of the inhabitants. Immersed in the green landscape, the building was built on the ruins of a votive chapel, formerly dedicated to Holy Mary of Melito, the name of the place. The picturesque interiors recall the splendor of the Baroque civilization, where the carved and painted stone coexists with soft stuccos. The high altar of the church was realized by the important 17th century artist Giovanni Donato Chiarello from Copertino. The sepulchral chapel contains a 15th century fresco of the Virgin and Child. There are two ancient affirmations of the megalithic presence in the territory of Corsi, the Croce di Bagnolo and Croce delle Tagliate Miniers. The first one, as its name suggests, stands along the road which leads to Bagnolo and reaches a height of 4.60 meters. There's a legend about this ancient megalithic monument. In fact, according to an old tradition, it marks the spot of an important treasure, named in dialect Acchiatura, from the verb acchiare, which means to find. Situated in the neighborhood of some stone quarries, the menhir or obelisk Croce delle Tagliate is smaller than the other one and it reaches up to 3.30 meters in height. It is made entirely of coarse limestone and its base has two sides of 33 and 20 centimeters. The megalithic heritage of Corsi belongs to the Salentinian megalithic tradition, formerly present in a larger part of the coastal territory and the interior of the province of Lecce. The urban landscape of Corsi is characterized by the presence of large green spaces, important meeting and social gathering places. The Antonio Cezza Park is situated in the southeastern part of the town and it is dedicated to a former police sergeant who was awarded a civil medal for bravery. The policeman Cezza, native of Corsi, died at the age of 26 after facing an armed criminal in a public party in Potenza in July 1990. The park is decorated with different artistic sculptures in precious local limestone.
the memory of fallen war combatants is celebrated by the community of Corsi in the Memorial Park, a green area situated close to the town center. The monument has on its sides the names of the fallen soldiers of Corsi, in memory for future generations. The public spaces are used for community-based events, representing in this way an important place for cultural events and the promotion of multi-generational social gatherings.